for the divorce before somewhere I know. I, I, I don't know who it is. Um, Mike doesn't like him, that's for sure. I just wish he'd go away so that all would quit. Oh, Jake. Jake's voice is a man with his voice saying, he come to see me? Has he come to see me? I, I can't ask Mike, honey. No, he gets. He, he gets just like your father at some point. I ask him. I, I, uh, can I go? I want to go out and see. Can I go see oh, him? It's freezing outside. It's freezing so loud. He can't go. He can't. Don't let him go. What? Hey, it's, hey, it's just a man. It's just some stranger. It's some strange man. Oh, hi, Mike. We were just now talking about you. So you were down by the road. Son of a bitch wanted to come right into the goddamn house. Sometimes I think you might have enjoyed getting beat up. Maybe that's it. Maybe get some kind of kick out of it. You don't have to be cruel, Ma. This whole thing is cruel, Ma. What's this shirt? Well, that's Taylor's, honey. That's the one he picked out of the closet. <laughs> that's the one he likes. Smells like him. Baylor. It, it was his favorite shirt. He used to wear that fish in. He said you could have it. Smells like fish. So now what? <laughs> We're going to talk about shirts now? <laughs> what is going on with you? It's just streams faster than a trout in heat. If something breaks, broken. If something broken, parts still stay, parts still float for a while. Then gone. Maybe never come back together. Maybe never. Zach. Some dad hunting. He's been out in that shack all night again. Sometimes I think he'd like to live out there all year round. Oh, he's got everything he needs out there. His flashlight, his magazines, his radio. He even eats his meals out there anymore. When did all that start? Oh, what? Him moving out. When did that start? He hasn't moved out. He's hunted. Every year he hunts, you know that. Sometimes I think he's hiding from us. Well, look, there's only one day left in the season, and he hasn't gotten his buck yet. Well, I don't think I can take another winter of venison. Last year we had venison three times a day. <laughs> venison, venison, venison. It still wasn't got my spring. God, how I hate that meat. The bacon doesn't hide the taste. It's not that bad if you don't smell it. Funny thing is, I don't think he likes it either. He never eats it. Poor excuse for killing a live thing if he asks me. This room is where we all work together. That's right. Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, we are always here. You're safe here, as long as you stay with us. What's safe? Safe, safe from injury. <laughs> you won't get hurt here. I hurt all over. But it's getting better, honey, every day. It's getting a little bit better. What is? The brain. Well, they say the brain heals itself just like the skin. Isn't that amazing? It just keeps healing itself. That's what they told us at the hospital. What brain? Your brain, honey. In me. In your head. The brain in your head. Inside the skull. It's hiding in there? <laughs> well, no, the brain can't hide. It is in there. Like a turtle. Like a shell. <laughs> no, it's, what's the brain look like, Mark? I don't know what it looks like. It's gray. That's about all I know. <laughs> That's right. It's a great thing. It's, it's kind of curled around itself, isn't it? Like, like, a, like a snail, curled around itself like a bee snail. You got me? Snail? Yeah. It's all lumpy. I saw pictures of it once. They took pictures of my mother's brain, showed them to me once. Can you see it? Not when you're alive. You can't see it when you're alive. Why? Because you'd be dead if you could see it. It'd be sticking out. You could see the head? Mm, the face. That's right. They're not your brain. Your brain's inside your head, covered up. Where? Here, inside behind the sleeping. Why don't you go in the kitchen and make us four nice big pot of black uh, coffee? Uh, Mayor, she can't make coffee. Uh, so will burn her go still. Again. Well, I mean, why take the risk of her getting better? Oh, that's right. Her? Why take the risk? Why take the risk of her getting better? Why not just leave her the same? She is getting uh, better. Now, yeah. we'd be right oh, back God. in the same boat you were in with your mother. Another invalid. Hospital invalid. I'm the only one left in this joint who can function. You're never real anyway. I'm around. I'm around plenty. But I tell you one thing. 
I'm not going to play a caretaker of a nursing home here. I got better things to do. Like shooting men? There was an accident. Well, I just don't understand how a man can be mistaken for a deer. They don't look anything alive. He came crashing through the bush, hell bent for leather. How was I supposed to know? Didn't you look? He doesn't have any antlers. <laughs> he doesn't look anything like a deer. Go upstairs and talk to Beth. Well, tell her to come down here if she wants to talk. I'm not getting out of this chair for the duration of the she night. She won't come down. Well, then have her send me a letter. There's nothing wrong with her body, is there? Last time I saw her, she was walking around. She's talking all different now. She, she's singing things I don't understand. It's like she's talking to someone else. Well, she wasn't exactly an open book before. Well, I know, but now she's gotten scared really bad. Scared me. She's your own daughter, for Christ's sake. Well, she doesn't act like it anymore. She acts like a whole different person. She's the same person. Just leave her be for a while. She needs some time to herself. You're always fuzzing with her so much, she never has a chance just to be by herself. That's the only way she's going to be able to face that thing. I'm afraid to leave her alone. Oh, stop being afraid. You're afraid of this, you're afraid of that. Spend all your time being afraid. Why don't you save all of that time and fear for when the real thing comes along? What's that? Well... We're not going to last forever, are we, Matt? Have you ever given that any thought? One of these days, our cards are going to give out on us, and that'll be it. No, that's something to be afraid of. I'm not afraid of that. I don't care one way or another about that. Now I'm afraid of some of my daughter. She's disappearing on us. The only thing I recognize about her anymore is her body, and even that's beginning to change. What do you mean? Well, the way she stands now, with with her shoulders all slung forward and her head slung down, her eyes staring at the ground all the time. She never used to be like that. She had a big shock to her system. What do you expect? I expect her to get better. I expect her to come back with herself. She's a million miles away now. Well, you handled your mother for all those years. We can handle we have two hours. My mother was an old, old woman. That's still a baby. She's not a baby. She's a young woman. She's young yet, Baylor. I know she's young. What's that got to do with it? You think the powers that be hang around waiting for the right time, the right moment to bear down upon us? You think they're all sitting out there consulting with each other about her age? Oh, she's young yet. She's still a baby. Let's hold off for a while. They could give a shit about her predicament or any of us. We all going to get clobbered when we least expect it. Well, I can't talk to you about it. That's clear. Thanks. Help me off with these socks. I can't bend an inch. <laughs> she keeps talking about him, saying his name. Did we know this man before, Dad? God damn these tents! They make everything nowadays so they won't come open. Nothing comes open anymore. Here, let me do it. You do it. I am doing it. <laughs> How do you do that? Well, <laughs> yeah, I can never get that damn thing to pop open. They used to have a little trigger on the side, a little man for I gave them They still do. Oh, be darn. I thought they'd eliminated that. Yeah, they still have it. Oh, be darn. Would you put that on my feet, man? Oh, oh. My back's so sore from carving that meat, I, I can't bend over. I'll just go back upstairs and check on that. Just do my feet, would you please? talking so funny, mixing things up. I just can't follow her thoughts anymore. Uh, oh, that's as close to heaven as I've been in a long time. Doesn't it sting? I should think it would. Your toes are cracked wide open. How can you do that to yourself, Baylor? I didn't do it. Cole did. Well, but you sit out in that shop for hours on end, freezing your feet off. Doesn't make any sense. I can't stop you anymore at my age. But wait for him to come to me. Isn't there some other hobby you could take <laughs> up? It's no hobby. Where'd you get that idea? Hunting is no hobby, it's an art, it's a way of life. Everything gets turned into a hobby these days. Well, it isn't necessary to injure yourself. What's like necessary got to do with it? Well, I mean, we're living in the modern world. We've got the grocery store just four miles down the road. <laughs> There's no reason to kill animals anymore to stay alive. What a pioneer. There's more to it than that. What is it? Well, I'd like to know. 
What is the big fascination about standing out in the cold for hours on end, waiting for an instant deer to come along so you can blast a hole through it and freeze your feet off in the process? It's deer season. You hunt deer in deer season, that's what you do. Look at this, you've got blood all over your pants and your shirt. You look like you've been for a war. Just rub that stuff into my feet and stop trying to pick a bone with me. I'm too tired to argue. Maybe you just want to be alone. Maybe it's got nothing to do with hunting. Maybe you just don't want to be part of us anymore. You still got the greatest hands in the world. Maybe it's true that we're just so different we'll never be able to get certain things across to each other. Like Mother used to say, Your mother. two opposite animals. Your mother was a basket case. She was a female. <laughs> Mag, you ever think about the things you say or just say them? She was pure female. There wasn't a trace of male in her. Like Beth. Beth's got male in her. I can see that. I'm her father. No, she has male in her. I am male. I'm her father and I'm a male. Now if you can't make sense, just don't speak, okay? Just rub my feet. Don't speak. She was like a deer. Right? Brother. How do you manage to get things so screwed up? No wonder your daughter's in the shape she is in. A deer is a deer, and a person is a person. They've got nothing to do with each other. Some people are like deer. They've got that distant thing in their eyes, like mother had. Your mother had that distant thing in her eyes because she lost her mind, Mag. You were crazy. She was just old. Yeah. She nearly took us to the grave with her. You and me need to look younger today. We stuck in the restroom when the whole thing started. I know what it is. What? Let's work with you. The female one needs the other. What other? The male. The male one. Oh. But the male one doesn't need the other, not the same way. Uh, I don't the male one goes off by himself, leaves. He needs something else, but he doesn't know what it is. He needs something else. So he goes off by himself and ends up dead by himself. All right, all right. Stop rubbing my feet now. Go on, go on upstairs. I've heard enough of this. Did I put enough on? Yeah, that's fine. Just go on upstairs now. You know, that stuff's not for feet. What? The mink oil? It's made for boots. It's not made for feet. <laughs> I know that. Don't you think I don't know that? I thought maybe you didn't know that. Would you please go on upstairs? Now get out of here. You think it's me, don't you? <laughs> you think it's because of me. Your whole life went sour because of me, because of the mother, because of bad. <laughs> if only your life were free of females, you'd be free yourself. Well, you sure know how to speak the truth when you put your mind to it. All these women put a curse on you, and now you're stuck. Isn't that the way it is? Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly the way it is. You got that right. I could be up there in the wild country hunting antelope. I could be raising a string of pack mules out there, doing something useful. But no, you got to play nursemaid for a bunch of feeble-minded women down here in civilization who can't take care of themselves. They waste my days away making sure they even have a roof over their head and a nice warm place to go crazy in. Nobody's crazy, Baylor. Except for you. Why don't you just go? Why don't you just go off and live the life you want to live? We'll take care of ourselves. We always have. 